Nearly eight months since a cyclist lost his life biking across DuSable Lakeshore Drive. There's new work underway to make crossing the busy road safer. WGN Shannon Halligan is here with that story tonight. Shannon. Yeah, well, if you take DuSable Lakeshore Drive through Grand Park, you might have known, noticed some construction that started this week. Well, the Chicago Department of Transportation announced that the work is to install new medians and provide increased protection for people crossing the expressway, something safety advocates say is long overdue. DeSable Lakeshore Drive is a bit more backed up this week. Construction takes out the left lane in both directions between Monroe Street and Balbo Drive. Despite the traffic, safety advocates are taking a victory lap. We're welcoming the construction. We're welcoming the concrete. Christina Whitehouse is the founder of Bike Lane Uprising. She said the construction on DeSable Lakeshore Drive signals improvements that she said were desperately needed. It was a known problem area. Um, that winter, two cyclists were killed, um, including Gerardo, you know, trying to get to and from the lakefront. In February, Gerardo Marciales was killed after being struck by a driver while in the crosswalk at Balbo. During a vigil, loved ones remembered the cyclist. Gerardo was the kindest, most generous person that I've ever known, and um, his passing has really impacted so many people, and we we just really miss them so much. It was then that Bike Lane Uprising installed a ghost bike in Marciales' memory at the site where he was hit and killed. It also highlighted just how dangerous the intersection was. The bike didn't actually fit 100% in the median, and we put it there on purpose because it highlighted just how narrow the median was. Now, nearly eight months later, and without much warning, the Chicago Department of Transportation is installing new medians at Balbo, Jackson, and Monroe. The biking community is a very tight-knit community. People know when construction is going to take place. Uh, when it's announced, uh, it ends up making its way through. People, you know, talk about it. And this was kept very hush-hush, and I wouldn't be surprised if they feel that there's liability on their part. Still, White House said it was a change that will hopefully protect others. It is an improvement. It's definitely not solved. We're still seeing people running the red light, but it does make it a little bit safer. And right now, um, it's nice to have a little bit of a win. Construction on the median and resurfacing on DeSalvo Lakeshore Drive is expected to continue through the end of the month. Brian Micah. Thank you, Shannon.